So I have turned almost anything into a house in Blocksburg. I mean, literally anything. Except for one thing, which you guys have all been begging me for the longest time. And that is the bed. I'm not talking about this kid's bunk bed. No, I'm just talking about a regular king size bed. So let's get started. All right, first things first, as for this plot name, um, it's like a bed joke I can make. I'm literally gonna Google. Why does it come up with beans when I type up be eaten? I'm gonna Google bed jokes. Oh, what's this? A hundred funny bed puns that will keep you giggling in your bed. Why did the musician love his bed so much? Because it had great sheet music. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm using it. Okay, now that we have my plot name, it's now time to choose which bed we are going to be attempting to turn into a house. So we've done this one. I think I want to avoid all of these single beds because the smaller the bed is, the more difficult it is to turn into a house. So definitely going to use a double bed. I'm thinking this one. This is the biggest one. It's a contemporary double bed. And you know what? The good thing with this bed is that it also has these side tables, which technically counts as the bed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so with any house transformation, we need to figure out where the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom is going to go. And I mean, this is very small, so I think I may even split the living room and the bedroom up into one. Why do I do this to myself? You know what? I don't miss this series. This series stresses me out. So many of you guys are like, bring the series back, bring the series back. And I'm like, mm, no. Mm, no. Like, how do you turn a bed into a house, my dude? I need to hide this pillow, so hi. And we just need to, like, map out the structure of the bed. And if you're wondering, Alaska, how does this work? I will tell you. So I could easily just put a wall around this bed and then turn this into a house, but that's too easy. What are we, lazy bums? No. Now, while I figure out the structure and the layout of this bed, I just want to vent to you guys. Last week, I go grocery shopping. What do I buy? Strawberries. I buy a punnet of strawberries. Why? Because they were half off. They were cheap. And the reason I bought these strawberries is because I knew Avatar The Last Airbender was coming on Netflix in like a week. So in my head, I'm like, if I have strawberries, I can have like chocolate and strawberries. A week rolls by. Avatar is out on Netflix. So what do I do? I run straight to my fridge. I go to grab my strawberries. And what do I open my fridge to? White, fluffy strawberries. They were moldy. You're joking. You're joking. Like, what kind of strawberries go moldy after a week? You know the amount of disappointment on my face when I saw them moldy? <laughs> also, speaking of Avatar The Last Airbender, right? I go on Roblox and what do I see? The Avatar The Last Airbender game. And I feel like so many Roblox developers are actually being inspired by their favorite movie or video game and turning it into an actual game in Roblox. And this actually reminds me of the sponsor of today's video, which is Honkai Star Rail on Roblox. So there's a game called Honkai Star Rail, right? And they released a brand new world called Panacony, which is beautiful. But the cool thing is you can actually now play Honkai Star Rail on Roblox. Someone called Clocky underscore King literally developed Star Rail Simulator because of his love and passion for the game. And in this game, right, you can explore this gorgeous map, Panacony. It's divided into two main areas, the hotel area and the battle area, which is filled with these monsters as well as a final boss. And if you defeat these powerful bosses, you can unlock a new world where each world is controlled by another enemy. And every 10 minutes, a server boss event will be launched, allowing players to challenge the boss in the area with other players. And I literally had to invite you guys on to help me because this boss was difficult. Once the challenge ends, your rank will be displayed to the whole server, which is pretty cool. And apart from the basic gameplay, you can even experience fun obstacle races where you can control your characters to jump and dodge various obstacles. I kind of sucked at this. <laughs> and not only this, you can even use Honkai characters such as Pom Pom, Sparkles, Black Swan, and many more as you guys will see. And the cool thing is each character possesses their own skill and you can strengthen your character by promoting them and enhancing their powers. And this is only a glimpse into the game. There's seriously so much more to explore. So join the game now through the Roblox link in my description. And hey, who knows, I might be on the game struggling to defeat a monster as we speak. So big thank you to Star Rail Simulator again for sponsoring today's video. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I love how this video is literally titled turning a bed into a house in Roblox. And what am I doing? Building a whole house. I'm just building the walls, okay? Okay, and I know this isn't cheating because my rules when I do a video like this is I have to make sure the house is as big as the bed. So this bed takes up around four squares and two down here. So as long as it's not that big. You know what I realized? Doing a challenge like this requires a lot of expertise in basic shapes. If I didn't know how to use basic shapes, I'd be screwed. 
Okay, the reason that I'm having like a step here, so this can technically lead into the bathroom or the kitchen instead of, I don't know, walking over the bed every time you want to get to the kitchen. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's much harder today to turn this bed into a house. I think it's because I haven't done it in a while. I feel like I've lost me touch, babe. There we go. That kind of makes sense. I don't really know what type of house I'm going for. You know what? Meaty house. And to make these windows look more realistic, I'm gonna go in with some thin square beams. Make a little tiny window outline. Okay, this is a genuine question, guys. Would you rather buy a house next to the beach or next to the forest? This is a very serious question and you guys need to answer. Correct answer should be both. Okay, I figured it out, all right? The entryway here, bedroom, bathroom. Oh, I kind of have potential for this. First, I was like, this is gonna look so stupid. You know, the more I'm doing it, the more I'm like, okay, she's getting there. I need some inspiration for a beach house. Ooh, this is nice. Say lots of nice cool tones. I'm thinking maybe for the bathroom, we can have another custom wallpaper right here. So then we can have a blue black spat, back spat, blue black spat, black back spat, back splash. So then we can have a blue back spat. Oh my God. Blue, blue black spat. <laughs> then we can have a blue black splash for the bathroom. Why was that so difficult to say? Have you ever had a dream that that you um, you had you 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 could you do you you want? And then another wall here for some privacy. <gasps> Look how tiny this bathroom is gonna be. I don't even know how this is gonna work. Um, we need the shower first. We're clearly not gonna fit a bathtub in here. So I'm thinking shower can go here as soon as you walk in. Because I mean, well, the shower doesn't really take up much space in a house. Oh guys, what if we have the toilet floating on the bedside table? I mean. It works. Doesn't look a bit stupid? Maybe, but it works, so who cares? The good thing with having the toilet on top of the bedside table is we can fit some sneaky toilet papers underneath here. Although it's gonna be a bit of a jump to actually get to the toilet. Didn't think about that. And also, where are we gonna have all of our storage? I mean, I guess we can use these floating shelves. They kind of work. Oh, <gasps> we also need a sink. Guys, where are we gonna have a sink? Oh, mate, ain't no way a sink's gonna fit in here. That is ridiculous. That generally does not even make sense. Unless we swap the sink and the toilet. Oh, <gasps> if this works. Oh, wait, that looks good. The only problem is that it's coming out of the wall. Um, it's okay, we'll fix that. We'll fix it. And then for the toilet, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to put the toilet. I hate these challenges. Is there a smaller toilet I can use? Okay, this one's a little bit smaller. This reminds me of one of those tight Korean apartments you see on TikTok. Okay, we're getting rid of the sink. One thing with these challenges is I have to try my hardest to actually make the house functional. Okay, we're just gonna decorate this bathroom a little bit. All right, there we go. The bathroom's actually kind of cute. I kind of love her. I think that's everything we need. We don't have a sink, but like, who even needs a sink? Who washes their hands in Bloxburg? Okay, so I think that's the bathroom done. We'll add the doors and everything later. And the next thing I want to do is I think the kitchen. And I want to be a beach house without, of course, linen floors. <laughs> you suck! I was watching YouTube the other day and this YouTuber said that I am obsessed with linen. Why are you steering? Go look that way. Look that way. Look that way. Yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> It's gonna be the smallest kitchen. We can't even fit an oven in here. Well, we can, but if we do, that's the only thing we can fit. Mm, I, I think we can fit an oven. And then to break this up, a little mini fridge right next to it. As a matter of fact, is there a smaller oven I can use? There's this one, but that's like $4,000. And it also takes up less room. So you know what, we're adding it. And because we can't have a regular island bench or a dining table, I'm not gonna lie, I usually just put a basic shape over the fridge and that will be my fridge. Also, I hate the fact that it's not the same height. If I just put a cube underneath the fridge, can I change the height? Oh, I can. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Oh, that looks so much better than whatever this was. And this works perfectly, darling, because then I can have a cabinet right above the oven. Never mind. No, I can't. It's too short. Oh, does this mean I have to use another basic shape? I'm kind of sick of basic shapes. Yeah, I've said it. I said what I said. I am sick of them. No, it's fine. We're using a basic shape up here. Then this way, we can fit the microwave and the coffee machine, as well as the toaster. Maybe at the bottom here, we can fit some utensils. I'm kind of shocked at how well this kitchen's turning out. For some reason, I just was not expecting it to turn out this well. You know what? She's kind of killing it, honestly. Girl, you ate this. Scrumdily yum yum, my purr And all the appliances in here are gonna be blue. So I can officially call myself a fancy smeg mum. And as for the lighting, the melody strips. strips. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I kicked a child yesterday. Okay, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> I shouldn't probably start my sentences with, I kicked a child. Give me out. Babysitting this kid, and um, and they turn around and they go, are you ticklish on your feet? And I'm like, um, 
like, if I say yes, this child's gonna tickle my feet. So I go, uh, no. And they grab my foot and they start tickling my foot and I accidentally like kick them in the face. I didn't mean to. It was just my body's natural response to someone tickling my feet. I said, stop that baby, stop tickling me, stop. I said, stop. And yeah, she started crying and I felt bad, but anyway, this is my kitchen. You know what? I love her. We don't, however, have a dining table. It's fine, because we'll just eat dinner on the floor. Now, next up is my bedroom. We have the main component of my bedroom, which is, uh, the, the bed. I just find it really funny that every single person that lives in a beach house, they have a beach interior style. And I'm just like, why? If I lived in a beach house, you know what my interior style would be? Gothic black. Just to have them never guess your second move, you know? Mom, this is not a face. Don't judge! You know what I find absolutely shocking to me, by the way? I started doing this series over six months ago. How crazy is that? You can use one of the new textures they added to the game. For example, these half circles. And considering this is a beachy themed house we're doing, we'll put a little octopus on the bed. And for some reason, it's bothering me the fact that the bed and the kitchen are not separated. I'm gonna use a little tiny basic shape. Then that way I don't accidentally fall into my bed as I'm cooking a sandwich in the kitchen. I really want a TV in here. And for this to work, I might actually have to move this window. And then I can copy this window and add it over here. Oh, and I just realized I forgot about the door. How do you even put a door in this house? Like, this makes no sense. You know what? It can be a fake door. We'll just put a cube on the corner, lift it up like this, add a beam, add a boom, and we have a door. Which means now we just need the roof. Okay, you know what? They don't call me Alaska Violet the roofer for nothing. Okay, no one calls me that. But I feel like in a past life, I was definitely a roofer. Because let me tell you, you guys are about to see the most amazing roof you've ever seen in Bloxburg. For real. <laughs> This is reminding me of those Amazon homes. Scrolling on Instagram and I saw someone bought a home off of Amazon. Like they literally bought a house off of Amazon. It kind of just looked like a shipping container. And I'm sorry, but if you guys got a gust of wind, your house would be gone. All right, are you ready? We have the roof, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we fill in this front bit here, I'm gonna decorate the inside. For example, we still need the living room. And because we have a pretty spacious path here, I think I'm gonna be able to fit a fireplace. Oh wait, what if we have a mug on the fireplace? It's gonna be like a hot chocolate. It can stay warm. Ooh, hot chocolate. I'm making a hot chocolate after this video. Okay, as for the couches, I don't think we'll be able to fit a couch in here. We could potentially do a custom made couch. If we do this, we'll only be able to fit like one. All right, that's our couch. Don't ask why it's going through the wall because I I don't know. Kind of just reminds me of a dollhouse, to be honest. Okay, so now that we have all of the decor, we can finally cover up this wall and boom, the outside is done. <laughs> Finally! Okay, I know this is technically not a part of the challenge, but I kind of just want to decorate the outside a little bit. And oh my gosh, it is done. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. So before we go inside, the total of this bed house comes to 33,000, so it's pretty cheap. So if we walk inside, <laughs> we've got our bedroom slash living room slash kitchen. There's a lot of things going on, okay? This is kind of our living room with a nice cozy fireplace. And then we have the bed right next to it. Out of all my house transformation videos, I think this is the only video where I can actually sleep in the bed. So you know what, 10 points. We then have the kitchen back here which i don't know if this is really reliable uh let's cook something let's have a look we'll make some hot dogs okay good news is we can successfully fry some hot dogs i'm not gonna lie though looking around this looks like a totally normal regular house lastly though we have the uh the bathroom yeah, the bathroom is so tiny. Good news is if we use the shower, our whole head isn't actually sticking outside of the house, which is much better than my previous house transformations. And then we have the toilet. The only concerning thing with the toilet is uh, the fact that it is so far from the ground. You literally have to jump over a full obstacle to actually get on the toilet. Good news is everything in the house is totally accessible. Looks wise, I give it like a six. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me turning a bed into a house in Foxburg. No more screaming at me to turn a bed into a house because I've finally done it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!